Hi everyone. For this week's Tips and Tools Tuesday video, I'm going to share a tip with you. I'm going to show you how to tie a square knot, and then I'll show you why I use a square knot when I'm changing thread in my sewing machines. When tying a square knot, remember this phrase, right over left, left over right. I'm going to use two pieces of yarn so that it shows up better than if I was using thread, and I'm using two different colors. So I'll start with the yarn in my right hand and place it over the yarn in my left hand, like this. And then I'll take the yarn in my left hand and wrap it around the cord in my right hand, like this. So then I've created a knot that looks like a square and I tighten it down. That's it. And you'll notice if I pull on it, it won't, it won't come untied. Now let's try that at the sewing machine. I've clipped the thread that's already in the sewing machine, leaving a nice long tail, and I'll remove that spool. Put my new spool on, and I've got a nice long tail. Take the thread in my right hand, and wrap it over the thread in my left hand. And then take the thread in my left hand and wrap it over the thread in my right hand. Right over left, left over right. And then I just tighten that down. It's nice and tight. Next, I'm going to take the original thread that's still threaded in the needle of the machine and I'm going to pull. There's a tension disc here and another tension disc right here. And as that knot comes through the tension discs, any lint buildup, if there is any, and there usually is, any lint buildup will just come right through those tension discs as the knot goes through the tension discs. And after it goes through the tension discs, I just continue pulling. And the knot, as I continue to pull, goes right through the eye of the needle. And that's it. I haven't used the thumb behind the needle tip that I shared with you earlier this year. And the knot has helped to clean my tension discs. If you like this video or you know someone who may benefit from it, I hope that you'll share the video. Hope you like the video. And I hope you're having a great day. Hop on over to my website and sign up for my newsletter so that you can stay up to date with what I'm doing here at Designs by Donna and the latest classes that I've got to offer and PDFs. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Bye now.